Shalom Yasharel. In this video, I'm going to show you using scripture how the Heavenly Father is using the internet in these latter days as a form to reach others across the earth. We're not always going to have access to others and be with them presently in order to teach them the scriptures. You know, some of us have jobs we need to tend to. Nine to fives that prevent us from being there present with others. We have businesses we need to tend to. We have school we need to go to. Some people's schedule so busy they can't be there with others present. You know, some people have financial problems so they can't travel freely. Some people don't have car. So... Whatever the situation is, some people can't be there present with other believers in order to share the message. So what the Heavenly Father is doing is he's using the internet in these latter days to help spread the message of salvation, the message of the kingdom throughout the four corners of the earth. Now let's turn to the book of Psalms, chapter 19, verses 2 to 4. It says that day to day utter its speech and night to night show it knowledge. There is no speech, and there are no words. Their voice has not been heard. And to all the earth has their line gone forth, and to the end of the world their sayings. If you look up the word, their line, in that last verse of Psalms, Psalms chapter 19. If you look up this word here, their line in the Strong's Concordance, you'll see that it means a cord. What type of cord? A connecting cord. A cord as in connecting us to one another. Internet. Again, Psalms 19, 2-4, this is from the New Living Translation. It says, day after day, they continue to speak. Night after night, they make him known. They speak without a sound or word. Their voice is never heard. Messaging, electronic messaging. Just like you were to text somebody through the phone. You don't hear a sound, you don't hear a word from that person, but you can read what they're saying, right? You don't have to hear their voice. You don't have to have them present with you for them to share with you whatever they want to share, okay? So the message goes throughout the earth and their words to all the world. Social media. End days tool. A lot of people like to discourage this as a bad thing. But don't, li don't listen to the mainstream news. They're doing that because they know that a lot of information is being brought forth through social media. You can find a lot more information online than at your local church. It all depends what you use it for. If you're going to use it to mess around and that's not a good thing. But if you're going to use it to read what others have to say concerning the scriptures, then that is a positive thing. Psalms 19, 2-4 again. This is the Christian Standard Bible version. It says, Day after day they pour out speech. Night after night they communicate knowledge. There is no speech. There are no words. Their voice is not heard. Electronic messaging. Social media. You send messages to people. You post things on your wall, your social media wall, and others could read. So no sound is made, no word is heard. But they could read. They could read what you have to share concerning the gospel. Okay? So the message goes to all the earth. And the words being typed and posted, they go to the ends of the earth, four corners of the earth. 
So yes, the internet is an end days tool, excellent tool to reach others. Wi-Fi is very popular in these end days. The internet keeps us connected to one another. Okay, some places even provide free Wi-Fi. Again, it's no coincidence. You know, use this grace period while we still have the grid. Because once the grid goes, then hey, they're not going to have access to the internet. The time to learn about the mysteries of the scriptures, the time to learn the commandments are now. Time to reach others is now. Because when the grid goes, we're not going to be able to do that freely. Okay? Okay, continuing, moving on. Okay, I'm experiencing some technical difficulties here. Let's see if we can get them sorted out. Bear with me. And pardon the interruption. Okay, give me a second here. Come on, damn it. Don't do this to me. Okay, I think I got it. All right. This is a Darby translation of Psalms 19, 2 to 4. It says, Day unto day utter its speech, and night unto night show it knowledge. There is no speech, and there are no words. Yet their voice is heard. Their line has gone throughout all the earth and their language to the extremity of the world. What type of language is this? Well, if you look up this word line or these two words here, their line and the Strong's Concordance again, it means a chord as in connecting. A connecting cord, connecting line, internet line, the net, okay? Again, Psalms 19, 2 to 4. Each day pours out more of their sayings. Each night, more to hear and more to learn. Inaudible words are their manner of speech and silence their means to convey electronic messaging, social media messaging. Yet from here to the ends of the earth, their voices have gone out. The whole world can hear or read what they say. Matthew 24, 14 says that the gospel of the kingdom must first be preached in all the world for a witness to all nations. Then the end comes. For those wondering, how is the message of the good news, the message of salvation, going to be preached into all the world? Or to all the world? Well, again, the internet helps in spreading the message. And it's more convenient, too. So, there you have it. Easy to read version. Psalms 19, 2 to 4. Very similar to the other versions. Each day, each new day tells more of the story, and each night reveals more and more about Yah's power. You cannot hear them say anything. They don't make any sound we can hear. Sometimes we just read what others have to say. But their message, nevertheless, goes throughout the world. Their teaching reaches to the ends of the earth. So yes, multimedia, social media, all these popular outlets enable the message of the kingdom to be spread throughout the four corners of the earth. We can't always reach others and be there present with them and have a good old Bible study session, but that's what the internet is for. So take advantage of it while the grid is still active. Because once 
tribulation hits, there's no guarantee that the grid will be up and running in no time. So, yeah, don't let others discourage you either. Saying that, oh, don't spend too much time online and blah, blah, blah. You know, they actually, some, I've seen some, some of these shills discourage people and say, oh, you know, reading is not reading or watching videos online is not learning. I was like, what? Like, it's, people are not always going to have money to buy books, you know? So they want to discourage you from learning for free through some of these YouTube videos or some of these social media posts that these brothers and sisters share. So don't fall for that. They want to use the mainstream news and say that people spend too much time online. Well, it depends what you use the net for, you know. It could be used for good or for evil. So use your time wisely. And me, I use my time to sp spread the message of salvation message of the kingdom make these revelations known to others and share the gospel okay